You little rebel, you. Clicking on this video that says don't watch this video. <laughs> That's all right. That's all good. The message for today is to not be afraid to lose anyone and that you will always have God. And whenever I'm starting to feel like there's a lot of spiritual attacks or anything like that, I usually go to this place here. I love this place. I don't know if you guys can see the uh, yeah, the, the river there. But I love to walk by the river, chill out here. And it's fall, so the leaves are just beautiful here. And I thought this would be a good place to shoot a video that we would be able to talk a little bit more about why you don't need to be afraid to lose anybody and why you don't need to be afraid of all of the possibilities that and the uncertainties that go on in life. You know, it seems to me that a lot of the times when we're going through these challenging times, where your spirituality is being tested, your faith is being tested. It's, it's really what it comes down to is a matter of perseverance and fortitude of mind. And there are, of course, going to be people where they don't want to see you rise above. And I've made a video on this recently. But most importantly, it's, it's going to be how you react in these situations. And I've learned a lot through my m past mistakes and still making mistakes now, you know. I come to you all as a humble man, a flawed man, a man that is not necessarily perfect, but is striving to be so. And something that I've noticed is that people are going to try to make it seem like when, when you are up, that you're actually not climbing that ladder that you think you are. They're going to try to say that. They're going to try to make sure that you are not the person or becoming the person that they don't want you to really see. And it's almost like, I don't know if anybody's played the game Stratego, but Stratego, you have a bunch of different kinds of pieces on your end and the other player has a bunch of different pieces on their end and something that happens when like you can't see the other person's um, uh, actual pieces by the way you can't you can't see their pieces you can't see their uh, their their anything until you actually try to attack them or there's one piece that can move like multiple, um, like multiple spaces. But if you do that, then you're going to reveal what kind of piece that is, right? So <clears throat> it's kind of like playing Stratego with some of these people out here. You don't really know what they're going to do until you make certain moves. And they don't really know what you're going to do until you make certain moves. And... It's not until you make those moves that the truth becomes apparent. And it's all about how you strategize. It's all about how you play the game for the long term. Because Stratego, like chess, is more of a game where if you are actually stable in, in your mind, you're actually willing to give up a certain amount of pieces in order to get the game going to 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 win on your side because you have to give up sometimes in order to to receive and a lot of the times that's going to happen with people in our lives with people in our lives it's going to come to the point to where you have to give them up and you may not want to give them up and they may not want to give you up but someone's got to grow Someone's got to do what they need to do to, to thrive and, and survive. And not and just, I don't even like saying the term survive because we're supposed to be, as God's people, in a state of abundance, a mindful abundance. And that mindful abundance is all around us if we just look at it. 
I mean, this is one of the great things about being in nature and just being at peace with everything as far as like the seasons changing and understanding that this is going to be a situation in which the leaves are going to have to fall off the tree just like some some friends are going to have to fall off your tree so that you can grow new leaves next t- next time around in the next season it's the same kind of thing but what's super funny is at the gym this morning <laughs> with this uh, thorn in my flesh that I've been dealing with for the past couple weeks this person has tried to <laughs> seduce me tried to blame things on me covertly and uh, like it, it's just been a weird situation altogether right it's just been a weird situation and it's it was starting to weigh on me because it's like I don't need this in my life I don't need this and the only way that I can get away from this person is to just go to the opposite end of the gym and that's what I've been doing but then they follow me and they, 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 it's almost like this person is wildly attached and yet resentful at the same time. And it's weird because I've never met a person like this. Like I've met a lot of different kinds of people that are resentful of you and that can be resentful of you. And that also have this weird kind of attachment. But it's almost like this person's like a codependent slash obsessive personality and i'm not really sure like what else to do at this point because i've placed boundaries and this person is still not like not letting me say well it's like i'm saying no and i'm i'm holding firm to that i'm standing my ground i'm sticking to my word and they don't like that, but they also like that. And it, and this just got me thinking about all the different kinds of people. This is part of the reason why I made this video, the, the video yesterday that I removed. It's like, these people out here, they, they love the fact that they can't control you, and yet they also resent it. And if you have the Holy Spirit, I'm sure that you've been dealing with something like this as, as well. And this is something that I've seen with multiple content creators across YouTube and other platforms that have the Holy Spirit that have actually been going through this as well. You know, they they do like you more than they want you to know. And yet, it's almost like they don't want you to know that they they like you because they also have this weird kind of like jealousy about it. They're like jealous that you're not controllable. And those kinds of people are usually stuck in some kind of pathology. Some kind of way of being in which is inadvertently hurting themselves more than anything else. And it's, it's, it's tough to see. It's sad to see, to be honest. But at the same time... I don't, like, it's not my responsibility to heal your trauma. It's not, and it's not your responsibility for anybody watching this. It's not your responsibility to heal anybody else's trauma. And so I hope that this message resonates with you all in the sense that you understand that sometimes you're going to have to lose people so that you can grow and make a bigger difference in the world. And it sucks. It, it's not fun for anybody involved. Usually, anyway. <laughs> Sometimes you're like, thank God they're gone! <laughs> but, <laughs> but other times it's, it's really not fun because you have those cherished memories, you have those fond memories, but you also logically understand that this is a person that doesn't have self-respect, doesn't have self-control, and to be around them even longer than you need them to it would actually it would actually hurt you more in the long run because you're the one that's going to be getting emotionally and spiritually sick but that's why you go to places like this 
where I am right by a road. I, I hope um, I'll see after the video here. I don't know if you guys can hear the cars, but and I hope you all can hear me okay. Because I've never done a video at this spot, but I've, I usually come here whenever I need to think about things, whenever I need to really just cherish time with God as well. And there's certain, there's certain trees over here. In fact, I don't even know if you guys can see. Uh, but that tree where there, <laughs> right there, there's a, there's a big tree. And one time, about two years ago, when I was climbing that tree, because I love to climb trees, <laughs> when I was climbing that tree, I sat there on, on a limb. And it was the first time I had like an emotional and spiritual connection to a tree. And that sounds super weird, right? Like that sounds kind of weird, like, <laughs> yo, you talking to trees? It's like, yeah, I actually do talk to trees. And soon after that, I found out that J.K. Rowling... No, 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 no. Not J.K. Rowling. Sorry. Who am I thinking of? The J.R. Tolkien. I don't know why I got those two mixed up. Tolkien, who wrote The Lord of the Rings, he would actually go on walks and talk to trees as well. And that's some, some of what he was inspired by writing The Lord of the Rings, like especially with the Ents. Uh, I don't know if anybody's seen Lord of the Rings, or but there's like talking trees. But they're not really talking trees, they're like beings, but they're like tree-like. But this was the first time, and this was the first place that I had that kind of experience. And so, if you guys are feeling like you're just losing a lot at this time, you're just in a spot where there's a lot of things that are going on that don't necessarily need to be in your life don't necessarily need to be a part of your life i would encourage you to go to nature and really just feel the spirit of uh, and the vibration of of nature itself because it does have a healing quality to it <clears throat> it does have a healing quality for sure and i usually go out in nature multiple times a week but to everybody in my consultations i recommend at least at least once a week. But obviously if you can go more than that, that'd be great. And there's just something about the symbolism of the river as well. You know, there's just something about having having running water nearby that almost puts your mind at ease. And if nobody has a river near them, that's okay. But if you do, then I think that would be a good option for you to just listen to the river. Listen, it, like Terrence McKenna said, that if you want a teacher, try a waterfall. Now, what exactly did he mean by that? And it's kind of the same kind of thing with a river. If you want a teacher, listen to the river. Because it's always flowing. It's always going. There's no, and, and it doesn't really necessarily stop. It just keeps rolling over the stones. Sometimes the water through years and years and years can carve new ways in the rock so in a way water is stronger than the solid rock it's it's like that with life too if you keep flowing like water if you're a moving target because a lot of you guys are in targeting individuals out here if you're a moving target it's going to be very very difficult for anybody to actually attack you psychologically spiritually etc and so if you keep moving if you keep going you're going to be like that water that is able to groove in new ways through the rock and that's really what life is all about because if you are able to do that you're able to manifest your own destiny right this is something i've said in a video a while back on semen retention and I hold true to that. You will be able to manifest your own destiny because you're going to be just flowing down the river of life. And sometimes, in order to go certain ways, you have to just trust 
trust the process. <laughs> you know, you might you might be going to a place in the river where there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of water and rocks there. Like you're not sure if you're gonna make it. Well, <laughs> where else are you gonna go when you're on the river of life, man? Like you gotta just trust it. You gotta just go with it. And I think that's really the main message for today. I hope this message was useful and insightful. And until next time, peace be with you.